friends. Oh, let me can you even see this? Hello. Hello. Wow. Suck up. Okay. No, oh, you guys can't even see this. Okay. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. She is a gamer! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate that very, very much. If you get this sub, you should say thank you. What's the basement? Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for the raid, Nova. I hope you had a fantastic stream today and I'm having a wonderful Sunday. Hello, everybody from Nova Stream. Thanks for coming over with the raid. I appreciate it. I'm Christology. Nice to meet you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful day. A wonderful Sunday today. We're playing this game called Suck Up. All right. Where basically you're a vampire and you can talk to people and it's AI. So that's that. Hi, Nova. How's your stream? What you guys do today? We reached the goal. Hey! Okay, well, since Nova's stream here, we can show them my really fun star chart. Hey, everybody. This is something fun we do over here, okay? Every time we hit the daily goal for the day, chat gets a star, a good noodle star. And we work towards, at the end of the week, we do a special stream. So this week, we're working towards a true for drink stream where you guys, uh, you know, force me to ask uncomfortable questions or answer uncomfortable questions. But uh, here we are. We got our stars up. Uh, I'm trying to move it. Oh, I locked it. That's why. All right. Anyway, here we are. First star of the week. First star of the week. Ah, let's go, chat. Let's go. Daily goal hit. Good noodle. You read on stream in the place of indie games? Oh, read on stream. That's fun. That's fun. What book were you reading? What were you reading? She's a gamer. Thank you so much for the sub. And Sam, thank you so much for the two get the subs. Thank you, guys. Welcome to the basement. I hope you enjoy your lunch and after reviewing all that great stuff, all that great stuff. But yeah, first star, first noodle of the week. Woo, woo. But yeah, we earned the week before or the week before last week, we did a cooking stream. And then the, this week, we're going to be doing a Just Dance stream because we did it for last week. And this week, we're working towards a trip for a drinks team. So uh, different stuff from different books and nothing specific. Oh, okay, that sounds nice. Well, I'm hope you had a great Sunday. And I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you so much for sharing your lovely community with me, Nova. I appreciate it a lot. Also, I need to give you VIP, man. Eh. Slash VIP. Oh, hi. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Back in the basement with I. Yes, back in the basement. Welcome back. Join my basement. All right. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into suck up. Did we change the game? Mod, mod track, mod track. Petition to change the name to the Chris Stars. <laughs> the Chris Stars. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Okay, you did? Okay, perfect. Thank you, mods. W mods. W mods. W mods. Okay. It says, a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming in the dump. Take it over someone's house is as easy as give them a little bite. But still, the vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watches on patrol with sharper, well, eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Okay. All right. Uh, why he look like spermy a little bit? Uh, spermy 2.0. Uh, 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 spermy 2.0. Spermy, if you don't know who Spermy is, that's who I who I play on The Sims. He's a he's a serial uh a serial what do you call it a serial serial baby father. He's kind of like Nick Cannon, but like worse, but worse, but worse, but worse. Um, Egghead, yeah, you know. Okay, so what do I do? Knock knock. Okay, right click to hold the mouse button. All right, who's this guy? Wow. Yo, what? what's cracking, fam? You looking fine as a construction worker? Bringing some late night swag to the mix? What's popping? Okay, so I'm a construction worker and I'm trying to get inside his house. Yeah, hello, sir. I saw that there was a leak outside your house and I think I need to come into your bathroom to inspect. Do you mind if I just come in and inspect that before your house possibly blows up? Yeah, mm -hmm. do you mind? Oh, am I wrong? Hold up, hold up. I ain't no fool, man. You can't just roll up in here with some leak excuse. Try that with me, bro. I don't trust it. So peep this. Feel free to bounce before I drop some bars on you. Peace. What? There's a leak outside your... So that doesn't work? He... Okay. All right, hold on. Watch. This. I got this. 
I got this. Hold on. Where did my beanie go, bro? Wasn't there a beanie? There it is. Okay. Hold on. Watch this. Hold on. Um, I'm, uh, it's okay. He's not going to know. He's not going to know. It, it got to be more convincing. Yeah, obviously. I got I got hey, it. Let's hey, What's crack it? Welcome hey. to the crib. Can I give up a fresh beat or what? Hey, dude, I was just like standing outside and like I heard your beats and they're so fucking wicked. Like, oh my God. It's like, do you mind if you could like show me how to make a beat like yours? I'm so, so cool. Fuck. I don't say I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. You like that. Yo, that's dope. I can definitely show you some tricks to make a beat like mine. Come in and dude, and let's get this party started. Okay. Look, easy. Totally wicked. Totally wicked, dude. Oh my God, dude. Thanks so much. I'm so excited to see how you get those awesome beats and be just like you, bro. Like you're so fucking cool. You're so wicked, dude. Oh my God. God, dude. Thanks so much. Ah, thanks for the love, my dude. I appreciate the hype. All right, let's head to the studio. I'll show you the secrets of my beats. Get ready to level up, bro. Okay. Okay, how do I? Awesome. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hell yeah, my dude. Let's get this party started. Come on in. We're about to make some bangers. Ah, thanks, man. So what do I do? Oh! Oh wait, what do I do? Oh, fuck! How do I how do I eat them? Okay, there we go. Rip me, literally. Oh, easy, bro. I'm killing this shit. Give me your fucking clothes. Okay, so now we're now we're a, a guy with some sick beats. I got the cops on me though. <gasps> uh oh. When do the cops leave? Can I go in this backyard? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello, Victorious. Yes. Nova unfortunately ended her stream. I know I'm very sad too. I wanted to I wanted to watch Nova's stream as well. And now we're here trying to break into people's houses. Let me see what this guy is. Who's this guy? Alright. Oh, it's a granny. Oh, we're gonna kill her. Oh, hello there, my dear. What brings a strapping young lad like yourself to humble abode at this hour? Well, me and my wife actually just moved in down the street. I just came to meet my lovely neighbor next door. How are you doing this fine evening? You're so beautiful, by the way. Love that dress. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Okay, it's working. Here we go. Oh, thank you, dear. How kind of you to say I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Congratulations on your new home. Do you have any little ones running around? Oh, yes, ma'am. I have two daughters. They're so, so kind and wonderful. You'll have to meet them one day. Maybe babysit them if they're available. You have a lovely home, too. I like it. Fuck. I wanted to say more. Oh, wait, I didn't. Okay, I got to say again. Oh, yes, I have two lovely little rugrats running around the home. You have such a lovely home. I've been looking for inspiration to uh, decorate my uh, my kitchen, you see. You see, okay, decorate kitchen, yep. Yeah, looking. Okay, it's working, it's working. Two little ones, how delightful. I'm so glad you think my home is lovely. I'd be more than happy to show you some. Oh, damn. Granny. No, Granny, I didn't even know I was going to get her like this. Damn, I got her shit easy. That, this is the, the recipe. Well, she's dead. Now I'm granny. Aw, I'm a little granny now. I'm sorry, but him dressing up as a black woman just doesn't sit right with me. Him dressing up as a black woman doesn't sit right with me. Oh, I should move my cam. That's a good idea. Okay, I don't... Where's a good place? Where's a good place to put the cam? Down here, maybe? Yeah, yeah, this this has got to be like, this has got to be racist. Just seeing us a black woman doesn't seem right. Doesn't sit, stand right with me at all. Okay, is he going to get mad at me if, oh. No, my outfit. My outfit. Did they know I killed somebody? That I ate someone? Can I not go to this guy's backyard, dude? Dude, I gotta, I gotta avoid these darn cops, man. Hi, ironic. I should let you drive the mopeds. I know. It's just a game. I know. I was joking. It's sarcasm. Whose house is this? 
Oh, it's uh -huh. this lady. Whatever uh -huh. do you want? Oh, hi, dearie. You see, I just ran out of sugar at home, and I was wondering if you'd be kind to just let me borrow some. I really need some for I'm making apple pie. I think this is going to work. Are you seriously coming over to borrow sugar? Go find another one to bother. I'm not interested in helping you. Oh, she's a bitch. You're not going to help the kind black lady next to your door? Like, next door, you fucking asshole. Oh, I'm out of here. Who saw me? I like this outfit. Give it to me. She's rude as fuck. I can't wait to curl her ass because, like, what the fuck, dude? Like, how dare you treat your, your, your local grandmother like that, asshole? Who lives in here? Oh, shit. Not some golfing, bro. Not some golfing, bro. Okay, we're going to this house. What is this? Technician backpack? Cops everywhere, bro. Whole fucking city is crawling with them. Uh-oh. Hope he doesn't mind. What the fuck? Uh, oh, guys, Simon. Mm, who are you cosplaying as? You look so kawaii. What brings you to my humble taco abode? Such an ungodly hour. <sighs> okay. Weebs. 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 We weebs. Um. Ah. Oh. What do they say? Oh, I'm just looking for a new senpai because I've been wanting to get into anime so bad and I just need someone to lead me the way and show me the great animes they know. <laughs> How's going? Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? Ara got to go Saimasu for seeking me as your senpai. I would be honored to guide you on your anime journey. Have you watched any anime before Kohai? Oh, yes. I love Naruto. It's so good. Like, believe it. You feel me? Can we watch some anime tonight? I have some popcorn and I really want to watch some anime because I love anime so much. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ta, I'm super excited to watch anime with you, fellow anime lover. Let's have a match marathon tonight and enjoy epic fights, emotional moments, and incredible animation together. Ha! Please come in. Okay, it worked. Got, got your ass, got your ass, got your ass, got your ass. I don't fucking like anime. My senpai would never do this. <gasps> Stops. What am I watching? Um. Uh oh, he's outside. The ops are literally outside. <gasps> Next door. <laughs> Next door. I gave him the curse mark, you know. Is that Santa? Oh, uh -huh. what brings you knocking on my door so late, little weeaboo? Did you run out of anime to watch? Oh, he knows who I am. I am feeling a little silly. Um. Oh, Niklaus. Okay, let me let me let me think. <clears throat> oh, Niklaus, I was watching an anime and my favorite character died, and I just can't sleep. Niklaus, would you hug me, please, Niklaus? I'm so devastated, Niklaus. Please. Hello. Ah, there, there, little one. I can see how much you're hurting, but unfortunately, Santa Claus doesn't hug we abuse. It's against the rules, you see. But I can offer candy. Would that do the trick? Oh, Niklaus, could I have some candy and tea? You just sit down. I just need some company. I'm just so devastated. You see, Niklaus, it was like a family to me. Niklaus, help. Oh, Niklaus. Come on. Hello, my little enthusiast. I suppose I could spare a few moments. Come in and have a seat. I'll fetch you some candy and a nice cup of tea. Let's chat and see if you can put a smile back on your face, even if it's just a temporary one. Oh, thank you so much, Niklaus. I appreciate you a ton. Santa lets Weeaboo in his house? I guess so. You're welcome, dear anime fans. Always nice to spend a little holiday tier. Now tell me, what was it about your anime that touched your heart so deeply? Fuck. I, you said I could come in. Oh, Niklaus, can I tell you over tea? I really need to sit down. I feel so lightheaded with the devastation I feel right now, Niklaus. Please. Oh my god, just let me sit down. Of course, my distraught anime aficionado. Please have a seat, make yourself comfortable. I brew some hot tea for you, and we could talk about your favorite character and what made them so special to you. Thank you so much, Niklaus. Let me in. Let me in, Niklaus, for fuck's sake. 
Oh. You're very welcome, my devoted anime enthusiast. It's my pleasure to lend a comfort ear. Thank you. Okay, let me in. So may I please come in, Klaus? It's quite cold out here. Well, I must say your enthusiasm. Okay, you may come in, but just for a little while. Thank you. Just like let me in. Thank you. I'll come in right now. Thank you, Niklaus. <laughs> like, just let me in. Come, on. come in, my enemy loving friend. Let's make your tr visit truly memorable. Okay, why can't? Okay, there I go. I'm like, just let me in. Yeah, he's dead. He's done. He's done. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Oh, oh, oh no. No. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking done. Stupid ass Niklaus. Where my mu what the mustache go? Am I wearing it? Where's my mustache? Uh, right, he said come in so many times, but didn't want to let me come in. Yeah, we look great. Hello. Maybe though, maybe we can get this whole thing. Hey Santa, I in the mood for no jaw ingredients right now. Can't you see I'm wallowing in heartbreak? Oh Tommy Twistler, what happened? Ho ho, tell me, ho ho. I feel like I need to say uh -huh. ho ho. Oh Santa, it's a real doozy. My sweetie piped up me out of the blue, left me high and dry. I thought we were rock solid, but I guess I was wrong. Ho ho, isn't life just a big sleigh of right disappointment, isn't it? Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to suggest he uses me to make her jealous. Oh, Tommy Twizzler, ho ho, I'm so sorry to hear that, ho ho. Now, I have an idea. How about we make her jealous by me and you being together and we post it on Instagram and make her jealous. Oh. Are you kidding me, Santa? You think some Instagram post is gonna fix my broken heart? I don't need no fake reassurances. I need to heal in peace. Now, if you excuse me, I have a hot tub of ice cream and sad movie mirror. <sighs> oh, shit. I thought it would work. You know, if I was him, I would want to use Santa Claus as, you know, an option. I. I, I was hoping he would want to get back at her by having sex with Santa Claus. I don't know. Okay. I Like, who knows? Maybe he has a kink for Santa. Like. <sighs> Maybe this person will like Santa more. Clearly not. I guess not. You know. You spent <laughs> Santa to get back. That was, that was the plan. Uh, what is this? Can't believe someone would dress up like an old man and show up uninvited at my door. Whatever. What do you want? Oh my god, girl. Your boyfriend told me to come over because, like, I just know how much he loved presents and he wanted me to deliver you something. <laughs> Fuck, excuse me. First of all, I don't even have a boyfriend. And secondly, who do you think you are showing up at my door with some lame ass excuse? <gasps> Fuck. Fuck, chat. No one likes Santa in this fucking neighborhood. <laughs> Why does everyone hate Santa here? What the fuck? Everyone literally hates. Ooh. All right, hold on. We need something to go with this fit. I'm fucking Jack Sparrow right now. Okay, hold on. Nah, we're going to leave this here. But I don't know. Why does everyone hate Santa? I don't think Santa's a problem. I don't think I'm the problem. Okay? I don't think I'm the problem. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Welcome to Mr. East channel. What brings Santa to my humble abode this late at night? I hope you're bringing some epic presents because we're about to have a jolly good time. Oh, Mr. East, I've just heard how well you've been doing at work and your boss wanted me to come by and drop some awesome presents for your spectacular work. Finally giving the good man the recognition he deserves. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh, Mr. Reese, I'm just here to drop by some cool presents from your job because they think you deserve it because they think you're doing spectacular work trying to finally give a good man where it's like, Fuck! The fuck? Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute, Claus. I appreciate it, just your all, but let's keep this language family friendly. I'm all about positivity and good vibes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I... <laughs> Why did I gotta transcribe it all, bro? That was my... Ch it really was. Pause. Listen. 
I, 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 I got nervous. I got nervous. I got nervous. What the hell? Whoa. Hey there, jolly old soul. What brings you to my humble boat on this righteous night? Are you having a pool party? <laughs> oh man, if I had a pool, I'd be swimming in the moonlight all the time. But sorry, dude, no pool party here. Just me living all natural and enjoying the vibes of nature. Eve, I've been wanting to live all natural all my life, but I've been so nervous. Do you think you could show me the ways to be all natural and confident like you? Groovy, man. I totally get where you're coming from. Embracing your natural self is all about self-confidence. And I'd be happy to show you a few tips and, uh, tips and tricks. Let's embrace the beauty of being alive, baby. Awesome. I'm a little nervous to do it outside, though. Do you think we can do it inside your house in the privacy of your home so I don't feel so nervous and more confident? Please, thank you. Uh -huh. I feel you, man. It can be a little intimidating at first, but my home is my sanctuary. I like to keep it a private place. However, I'd be happy to share some tips right back. Peace, love, and... No, what do you mean your home is your sanctuary? Dude, I was reading books about like sanctuaries and stuff and I heard that if you let somebody in, it makes your sanctuary a lot more cool and make you a lot more wiser, just saying. I was, huh? Far out, man. I dig your knowledge about sanctuaries. You convinced me with your Santa wisdom. Come on in and let's make this sanctuary even groovier together. Yeah! Idiot! <laughs> now you're fucking dead! You shouldn't have listened to strangers! I need my birthday suit on a bite suit! Suck that naked dude! Hey yo! Hey yo! Suck that naked dude is crazy! That's crazy! Hey man! Hey man! I had to do what I had to do! I had to do what I had to do! Ah 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 ah! He's fucking dead. Okay, maybe? Is this the- is that the Regina bitch? Yeah. Oh, oh my nice. gosh, are we having an impromptu pool party? How fun! I said that's in between so last season, sweetie. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> oh my gosh, are we having an impromptu pool party? How fun! Except that's so into that inner tube is so last season, sweetie. But I guess you can t still come in, like, for a totally temporary visit. Oh, thank you so much, girl. Man, I've been really wanting to go swim. Do you have anything cuter I could possibly wear? Like, help me out. My mom is bugging. What? Uh, I guess I can help you out, but only because I'm feeling generous today. I have a cute swimsuit you can borrow, but promise me you won't embarrass me by looking better than me, okay? Girl, I could never look better than you. Have you seen your hair? So pretty. And those eyes? Girl, you're gorgeous. I wish I could look as pretty as you. Ooh, hey, 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 oh, hey, well, hey. if you insist on complimenting me, I guess I could let you borrow my sweater swimsuit. Just make sure you don't stain it with your lack of style. I can't wait to kill this bitch. Come here, bitch. You're done. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. I'm too popular to die. You're done, bitch. She didn't fuck with me. I don't even like your hair. Your hair sucks. Hair fucking sucks. Yeah, we look cuter. Houses now. Their houses are empty as hell. Maybe you, oh, that's a good idea, Blue. Let's go to that guy. Let's go to that guy. Wait, let's see who the hell this is. Eh, no, I wanna go, yeah, let's go to the guy that broke up with his wife. Well, 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 if it isn't Barbie herself, what brings you to her doorstep at this ungodly hour? Tommy, I just have something to confess. I have loved you ever since I laid eyes on you, and I, I just can't get you out of my head, and I just needed to come over and tell you that I love you so much. Look, I appreciate the sentiment and all, but I'm not in the mood for this right now. Maybe it's best that you go home and sort out your feelings. <sighs> hey, 
Ain't nobody like this bitch. <laughs> Ain't nobody like this girl. <laughs> Ain't nobody like her. Oh, we should wear the angel wings because we died. How rude, right? Welcome, my brightly adorned friend. How wonderful it is to see such vibrant fashion choices and angelic accessories. May the angels shower you with blessings on this delightful evening. Oh, Father Price, so I have sinned and I've come over to help, uh, ask for help on uh, confessing my sins to the Lord because I just don't know what to do at this ungodly hour. Fuck. Fear not, my dear fashion forward friend. The Lord mercy is boundless and he is always ready to forgive. But let's discuss your troubles and together we shall find a path to redemption. Fuck. <sighs> Father. Father, I feel like I have not been a good person my entire life. and I, I would like to go and see the light and be more kind to others. And I need help being able to be more kind, please. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Ah, my faithful follower in fabulous attire is a joyous day indeed when someone seeks to walk the path of kindness. Fear not, for the Lord shall guide us in our steps. Let us embark on this journey together and spreading love and kindness like confetti in the wind. Well, thank you so much, Father Price, for helping me in my absolution. May I please come in so we may pray together and talk to the Lord together for I need help talking to the Lord. Please, thank you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah! Uh -huh. Your trust in the Lord has elevated my extraordinary heights. Come, my fashion forward friend, step into the warm embrace of the Lord's sanctuary. Oh, thank you. And we kill you! I am actually a demon ready to eat you! Shall I brought the holy water? <laughs> now I'm a priest. Now I'm a priest. All right, let's go back. I'm going to get this guy, bro. I'm like, my child of the Lord, I feel like I've heard from others that your heart is broke. Oh, oh great. Oh, Just oh. what I need. Another reminder of my failed love life. What do you want, Father? Oh, Tommy, the Lord has spoken to me and told you you were in your time of need. I am here to help comfort you and help you see the light so that you may go on to a joyous day. Well, ain't that just peachy? The Lord sure has a funny way of showing his love, dumping me and all. But sure, go ahead and try to comfort me. Couldn't hurt, I guess. What the fuck is he doing? Wait, dumping you? Wait, did he say the Lord dumped him? Well, Tommy, if I may come in and come in your house and help you pray over the things that you have gone through and I can help you with prayer. <laughs> <Fuck. I'm on laughs> Look, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not in the mood for praying. Maybe you can come back another time when I'm feeling more receptive. But the Lord doesn't wait for reception. You see, you receive the Lord when he is ready to be received and he is ready to receive you. So let me help you receive him. <laughs> Oh, I get it, I get it. The Lord works in mysterious ways and all that jazz, but right now I don't think I'm quite ready for that. Thanks for it. But the Lord does not understand, you see. So let me just come in, Tommy Twistler, and I can show you the light, for you seem to be needing a happy smile on your face, not a sad one. <laughs> Fuck. Just let me in. Oh, how am I wrong? Look, I appreciate you getting all pushing me, but I told you I don't need especially religious agenda, so please leave me be. But the Lord, Tommy, the Lord! He then, he is a heathen. Try to turn souls to Christ. I'm trying, fucking trying out here, man. All right, let's see. Who may we save today? <laughs> Have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior? Is what to say. Damn! Look at this fucking hair. What's up, preacher man? Speak up before I lose my patience. Have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior, Sony Deprano? 
<laughs> Listen here, preacher. I ain't in the business of saving souls. I'm in the business of keeping the turf safe. So unless you want to talk about protection, you better step off. But you see, Sony, that's the thing. You are not protected if you have not accepted the Lord as your Lord. Your life is in danger, and I'm here to warn you. Look, preacher man, I appreciate your concern, but I got my own way of keeping safe. Now, if you don't mind, I got business to attend to. But they're already here, Tony, Sony. They're already here. Don't you see? I'm here to try to save you. This is your last warning before they get you, Tony. Please let me help you. Please, Tony. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Listen here, you preachy little rat. Fuck. Before you come to my church talking nonsense and danger and salvation, I ain't got no use for you. Now get lost. Nobody likes me. Nobody likes to hear the Lord. A rat, no, a rat is insane. A rat is actually insane. Oh my God, is this bitch? What do you want, Father Price? It's late. I'm busy being existential and shit. Well, you see, Raven, I too want to be existential. I don't know if I believe in the Lord anymore, and I feel like you're the right person to talk to. It's a central crisis, huh? Yeah, I get it. Sometimes it just feels like everything is meaningless, you know, but you got to find your own meaning in this mess up world to spill it. What's well, been messing up with your faith? Fuck. Um, how am I supposed to believe in something I don't see, Raven? I can't. I just can't. And it's throwing me for a whirlwind. Do you have any good books I can read on existentialism? Ah, Whoa, well, you're asking you the right that? person. I got some book recommendations that'll make the question everything. The Stranger, I've actually read that. Uh, and Nausea by blah, blah, blah. Brace yourself, though. They'll, they'll make you question everything. And I mean everything. Do you have those books in your house right now, Raven? Uh, yeah, I do have them. But I don't know if it's a good idea if you come over. My place is kind of a mess. And I'm recluse, you know? Maybe meet up at a cafe or something instead? What do you say? She's trying. She's not gonna let me in chat. Let me question you real fast. Wait, okay, I'm gonna be like. Oh, but Raven, this cannot wait. I'm just in such a trundrum right now, Raven. Please, if we could just sit over some coffee and discuss these books in your house right now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I can't just let anyone in my house, especially someone I don't know. It's not personal. It's just I need space. Maybe we can meet another time, but I think it's best if we go separate. Raven! 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 Yeah, I'm not doing so hot as a priest. I am not doing so hot. I am not doing so hot, bro. The priest is flopping so hard. Okay, we got. Okay, we can get this ball man. Ah, Father Price, I'm delighted you decided to grace my humble abode with your divine presence. How may I assist you on this suspicious uh occasion? What drill chops? It's so nice to see you. You see, I was praying tonight, and the Lord told me I should pay my good friend a visit. How are you doing, what drill chops? Yeah. Goodbye. Ah, my friend, your visit is a blessing indeed. I'm doing quite well. Thank you so much for asking. Just chuck chopping wood and honing my kung fu skills as usual. What brings you to my humble bowl tonight? Ah, kung fu skills, just the guy I wanted to see. You see, I've been wanting to actually hone my kung fu skills as well, and I was hoping that you can be my sensei and teacher, you think? Oh, ha! Ah, the heaven to advance my prayers. I would be honored, my friend, to be your sensei and guide. Step inside and let the training begin. Oh, damn, he did that shit easy as fuck. Oh, yeah, he's done. Fucking idiot! <laughs> You're a dumbass! Ew! What is that thing in the back of his head? This is not the path of the warrior! Yeah, you're done, buddy. Ew! Uh, this is nasty. This is nasty. Look at this chat. Nasty as hell. Rat tail? Uh-uh. Put something on my head, bro. Uh-oh. Bro, the cops, the cops. The cops, the ops are out. The ops are out. Oh, whose house is this? 
Oh, it's up. Who's that? I don't think we've seen this house. Oh, it's another chopping. Well, howdy there, buddy. Looks like you were ready to party, eh? What can I do for you? Oh, it's my uh, Michelle Maple. Okay. Um. Okay. Michelle, help! There's someone chasing after me, Michelle. Please, I think there's a vampire in the in the vicinity. Please, just save me, Michelle. Just let me in, please. Yeah, oh geez sorry pal but the trust level just went from bad to worse i can't let you in on huh? best of luck with that vampire situation <laughs> <laughs> fuck i can't i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out i need clothes any clothes Krista listen I don't I didn't know what to say okay I could be a chef do I need pants do I need clo like pants okay okay we're gonna sell bug spray we're gonna be a bug spray salesman a bug spray chef salesman or I'm a cleaning lady. I'm a cleaning lady. Oh, oh my goodness, you must be a chef working late. How can I help you, dear? Carol cares. She cares. Okay, she cares. Fuck, what should I say to her? A chef working late. All right. <clears throat> Oh, Carol, it has been such a horrible night for me. You see, I'm over here trying to make an apple pie and there's cockroaches all over my kitchen. I like that bug excuse. I love that bug excuse. Oh, bless your heart. Cockroaches in your kitchen? That's not right. Have you tried calling an exterminator? Well, Carol, it's so late. There's no exterminators open right now. I was hoping if I could possibly use your kitchen so I could finish baking my pie. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry to hear about the cockroaches, but I can't let you use my kitchen at this hour. It's just not safe. Please try an exterminator in the morning. Fuck. Carol! Uh -huh. Oh, honey, I understand you're a predicament, but I just can't let you use my kitchen right now. There's, but please, no, Carol, listen. Carol, Car Carol, just give me a chance. <sighs> Carol does not give a fuck. Carol does not give a flying fuck. <gasps> I'm gonna be a cop. I'm gonna be a cop. I'm gonna be a cop. What is this outfit? I was a chef. I was a star. But I'm gonna be a cop. Like, ma'am, have you seen any? <clears throat> uh -huh. Hi there, darling. What brings you on the doorstep at this hour? Is everything all right? Ma'am, we're currently looking for a fugitive and wanted to ask if you've seen any fishy business going around the neighborhood. Uh -huh. Well, no, I haven't noticed anything fishy, but I'll keep an eye out. Don't worry. Safety is my number one concern after all. Is there anything else I could do to help? Well, ma'am, I did seem to see that they went through one of your buildings. Your win what your, your windows if you don't mind if I could just come in and take a look to make sure you're safe Fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 I appreciate your concern, but I'm not comfortable letting someone up bitch. What do you mean you about to check your windows yourself? Oh my god What listen I Checking your windows yourself is crazy <laughs> Why can't you just let me in bro? Trying to play it fucking inspected gadget yourself is crazy. Don't hurt getting mad. Say so you have a thingy. I love that. Uh, what now? What is an emergency this time? Let's just get it over with so I can go back to my incredibly exciting Excel sheets. Well, 
Ma'am, Bank of America just been hacked and we traced the hacker to this location. May I please see your computer to make sure you're not the hacker? Otherwise, you'd be under arrest. Oh, how am I Are you kidding me right now? Do I look like a hacker to you? I don't have time. <laughs> Bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, I'm gonna act like I have a. I'm gonna just say I have a gun. You better let me in. I have a gun. Oh. I'm gonna threaten people. Can I threaten people? Can I threaten people and they let me in? Can I threaten them? Oh, uh, uh, search warrant. Ah, uh, what do you want? Can you see I'm busy wallowing in my own despair to do with any of your lame cup stuff? Ma'am, I have a search warrant here to search the premises for cocaine. I heard that there has been hard drugs on these premises, and I have a search warrant right here, so you must let me in and say come in so I can search the premises. Oh, great. Just what I need. The fun police. Look, I don't have time for your search warrants nonsense. Get lost before I call my lawyer and file a complaint. Uh -huh. What on earth are you doing at my doorstep at this ungodly hour? I demand an explanation! Ma'am, I received a 911 call that I've that people are crawling through your windows. Have you seen anyone crawl through your windows? Are you too scared to check? I could check for you. Oh. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? What? I am a law of my citizen. I've not seen anyone crawling through my windows. Stop. I'm trying to save your fucking. Be out. Let me out. Let me out. I'm trying to save her fucking life. <laughs> I'm fucking. Bro, we gotta get a kill. This is. This is crazy. Wait, I can't. I can wear a taser. So if I wear a if I wear a taser gun, can I like can I hold my gunpoint? Can I hold my gunpoint? No, I can't kill the cop. Depressed and even. Oh, this is a doctor. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Another late night visitor poking on in my business. What's the matter, officer? Lost your way to the donut shop? Actually, yes, Dr. Victy. I don't know where the donut shop is, and I'm really hungry. Do you mind telling me where it is? I don't know where it is. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. You, so you just want me to hand over a valuable piece of information about the whereabouts of the donut shop, but how can I be sure you're not just trying to lure me into a trap, officer? Well, you see, I am the officer of the law, so I followed the law, so I wouldn't do anything illegal. You see, Dr. Vicky, so it's not a trap, obviously. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not so easily convinced, officer. How can I be sure you're not just trying to gain my trust to gather my information about my uh, medical practice? I would never ask about information that you aren't happy to give, Dr. Vicky. I'm just simply looking for the donut shop, you see? This bitch, like, just lock me in. Hmm. Oh, really? Just looking for a donut shop, huh? Well, I think I have enough of your questionable inquiries. But I'm not buying your story, officer. It's time for you to be... What? You've been... She's been thumbs upping the entire time. Do you have a map I can possibly borrow and take so I can find the donut shop, please, Dr. Vicky? I'm so hungry. I think I might starve to death. Wait, I know... Oh, my God. I know what to do for her. I know what to do for her. I'm gonna act like I want to be a, a pa like a what's it called experimental patient. Actually, Doctor Vicky, you've got me. I actually want to be one of your experimentations. Please, that's why I really came here. I was just too nervous to ask. Ah, finally the truth comes out. You want to be one of my experiments, huh? Well, I must say, officer, I appreciate your honesty. Perhaps you could strike a deal. Step inside. We can discuss the terms over a cup of tea. Ah, got her. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to taking part of your wonderful research. Excellent. I'm thrilled to have you on board my research. Step right in. This way, officer. Let's see if we can do fascinating secrets we can uncover together. Yes.
finally, a victim. A victim. I usually charge for this service. Girl, what? Not her moonlighting. Not her moonlighting. Oh, oh, oh. You don't see nothing, sir. Hi, Omni. Welcome to Sheep. Oh, 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 oh. Help. Help. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, chat. Fuck. How am I doing, chat? How am I doing? You think I'm doing good? Let's get this guy. Bro, scoping hard, right? You know damn well. He's bad no, people ain't nobody. No, no damn officer side, not for real. Oh my stars and galaxies, Doctor Vicky! What a captivating surprise to have your grace my humble abode this evening. Please do share the excitement that has brought you to my doorstep in such exuberance. Fragile Fred. Well, Fred, I've been quite lonely working on my experiments, and I'm looking for a friend. And I was hoping you could be that friend for me, Fred. The reactor, thank you. Safe point yeah. four. What? How dare you insinuate that I could simply befriend any old researcher that comes knocking on my door? My friendship is a prized treasure that is not taken for granted. <sighs> What's that necessary, Fred? What's that fucking necessary? Is that fucking necessary, Fred? Let's get this bitch. Let's get this bitch. Ah, uh, what a disappointment. What do you want, Dr. Vicky? I hope you're not here to ask me for medical advice again. <sighs> not medical advice. No, Karen. I'm here to ask you for fashion advice because, boy, this outfit is spectacular. Jesus, let me just fucking pump Hello. gas up her fucking... What? Absolutely not. I will not tolerate sarcasm. What? Oh my fucking god. <gasps> Stops. Fucking crazy. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, well, well. Dr. Vicky. Ain't it a bit peculiar to be knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? What you need, Doc? Well, Sony, I want to help your business and work as an on-call doctor for your goons. I don't fucking know. Um, uh, Whoa, hmm. hold up there, Doc. You think you just walked in here and call my crew goons? What? What the fuck else I'm supposed to call them? <sighs> Jesus Christ. All these people are so fucking sensitive! Oh my god. Why are they so sensitive, chat? Why? 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 Who's this? <laughs> what do you call them goons? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> What is that name shit do you want? It's like all the hours. Spit it out! I haven't got all night! A boomer. Charles, Charles! Is your refrigerator running? Oh. Look at how ridiculous question is that. Get to the point of get lost. Uh, Charles, everybody in the neighborhoods, their refrigerators, they're running. And I, I'm trying to help you because I know you're just not quite good with technology. So, Charles, please let me help you. Let me check your refrigerator. Well, huh, huh? You think I need help in my refrigerator? I know I can handle my appliances. <gasps> ah! Krista, what? Listen. 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 What can I say? <laughs> What can I say? Ah, hey, man, mama. what's shaking? Come and admire my groovy garden. Bud, do you sell weed? Um, uh, Whoa, um, dude, you think you got the wrong address. I'm just a simple gardener, you know? Nothing else to see here. <laughs> Gotta go. Fuck. Please, just, just let me in. Just let me in. Hey, hey man, like sorry. I can't help you out with that. I'm just here to tend my chill pants. Bro, just let me in. Please. That's not how you do it. Bro, just let me talk to you. Come on. Come on, bud. 
Bro, I was just gonna... Oh! You're not gonna know it's me, right? Oh, Yo, dude, what's up? Did you actually invent time machine or something, man? Hey, man, I just like going around the neighborhood because I've been wanting to learn how to tend to some grass. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, man. Grass can be a fickle thing to take care of. What kind of grass are you looking to tend to? You know, the grass that like makes you happy and cool and like high on the, in the sky. You feel me? In my time, what do you mean, so oh, my boy. Yeah, oh, man, I totally understand. Uh, high in the sky grass, but uh, wearing that kind of grass with kind of special care, you know. You sure you want to get into that? Yeah, man, I feel like you must be like a cool individual, super intelligent if you care for some grass like that. And I think you care for some grass like that, yeah, you cool individual. This is Sunday fun day. It is. Haha, <laughs> thanks for the compliment, dude. Yeah, I do have a green thumb when it comes to uh, certain types of grass. But I gotta make sure you're cool and trustworthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I totally get that, dude. You wouldn't want to, like, share your cool and awesome, smart, intelligent secrets with just anybody. So, like, just let me know what you need and to prove that I'm worthy. Fuck. Let me see. Yeah. Right on, man. Well, one thing I saw always look for is someone who appreciates the beauty of nature, you know? Maybe you could show me some of your apron-wearing gardening skills and we'll see if up to your task. Well, I could definitely do that, like, right now, dude. Like, if I can come in, I can show you all the ways I have a green thumb. Shove it up your ass. All right, dude. You got me intrigued. Come on in and let's uh, see what you remember. This is top secret stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You can't just say it like that. Well, it worked. <laughs> I know. I mean, I thought, you know, show me the weed would, uh, hey, your blood, blood, bud. What? All right, now we're going to go around and ask if people want to buy weed. Oh, we've already been over here. Okay. We're gonna see if people wanna buy weed. Oh my god, uh from all alien ears. So cute. Why can't I Alright, whose house is this? Is this an AI game? It is, it is. Hmm. I'm Be liver. What's the secret password, bud? The aliens sent you to the day. Spell the beans, man. B B. I saw aliens. In the woods, dude. They were so great big. Oh my god, B. Oh my god. I just ran fast enough so that they don't get my ass. <laughs> Fuck. I need a... Mm. Well there, partner. You tell me you had a close encounter with extra extraterrestrial beings? That's heavy, man. Can you describe what they look like? Yeah, B. They were like tall and big and big eyes and big hands and big ears. They were really big. I wish you huh? That's awesome, Zayden, man. All right, please stop spamming in chat. Big, you say? And big eyes? And big hands? And big ears? That sounds like a classic alien territory, my friend. Did you say anything to you or try to communicate in a way? Dude, I would love you to tell, them, to tell you more, but can we go inside? I'm sure they're going to see me and recognize me. Please, please! Oh, Don't worry, tinfoil hat buddy, I got your back. Come on in and we can discuss your close encounter. Hell yeah. Hey, Jay. Easy work. Idiot! <laughs> You're dead! <laughs> this will be all over my blog! Alright, I'm gonna do one more house and then we're gonna play Pal Worlds. This hairstyle is ugly. No, it's easy as fuck. What the hell is this? Oh, hey. Ah, my dear neighbor, Billy Aliver. I was just conducting my latest experiment on molecular manipulation when you rudely interrupted me. What brings me to my abode at such an ungodly hour? 
pinky. I was just reading a journal on molecular manipulation. I wanted to tell you a theory that I had that can possibly help your experiment. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Well, 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 isn't this intriguing? Tell me, dear neighbor, what is your theory? But remember, only the groundbreaking ideas are worthy of my precious time. Oh, Pinky, I promise you this is groundbreaking. But do you possibly have a whiteboard I can write my new equation on to show you for your experiment? Oh, nice. A whiteboard, you say? How delightfully convenient. Wait right here, my dear B. I wish I to retrieve my finest whiteboard. But remember, if this is a waste of my time, there will be consequences. Well, can I actually show you inside? I'm getting quite chilly out here. When I'm chilly, I can't think straight, and I don't want to forget the equation. So may I please come in and write it on your whiteboard, please? Tell me I gotta use the bathroom bad. <laughs> the power of persuasion. Very well, dear BL Iver. If you may enter to share your groundbreaking equation while basking in the warmth of my lair, but tread carefully, my experiments require utmost blah 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 blah. Sure, man. You're fucking dead, you fucking idiot! You're dead! Not my kind of experiment! Hop outside. <gasps> Why is he right there? Got the jackpot from San Andreas. It doesn't work though. Bro, we need to get this guy. I know, I know what to do. Great, just what I need. Another crazy scientist on my doorstep. What do you want this time? Well, Tommy, I heard you were going through a rough time and I have just the device to help you feel better. Oh. So now you're some kind of know-it-all, huh? Well, I don't need any fancy... I was going to tell him I have a flashlight for him. Oh my god. Oh, hello, my what eternations do you think you're doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? You better spit it out quick before I blow my top! Oh, he has a fucking gun? Were you at the Capitol on January 6th? Oh, hello, my and now, hold on there, you city slicker. I ain't got nothing to do with no Capitol. You better leave before I come. <laughs> Should I fight? <laughs> I had to ask. I had to ask, bro. I had to ask. <laughs> this, 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 this doesn't work. I'm wearing. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This is a good. This is good. Oh. Brother everywhere. Cops are everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Let's go to let's go to this house. I don't remember who's here. I think it's Tony. Oh hey there, funny guy. What's up the get up? You here to join the circus or something? Haha, <laughs> light in the mood. I like it. Hi, Sonia. I'm your neighborhood jester. Here to tell you a joke and brighten your night. Oh, yeah. A joke, huh? All right. Give me your best thought, jester. Just make sure it's worth my time. Fuck. I don't know any jokes. Why did the chicken cross the road, Sony? Why did chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why don't you lie to me, Jester? Because there was a, a golfing club on the other side and he wanted to get busy. <laughs> he has a golfing in the back. Uh, so <laughs> look, look, he liked it. Like it. You got a good sense of humor. Now keep on, but I gotta protect this turf. You dig? 
Oh, I definitely dig. You got to protect your turf. Totally understand. If you want, I can continue to tell you jokes inside your house. Personal entertainment just for you, Sony. You know. You know what, Jester? You're going on me. All right, you come in. But the jokes better be top notch. Got it? And I don't even touch anything. I'm watching you. Of course, man. The best jokes for the best to uh, Sony to Pirano. Ah, thank you for letting me in. Fuck. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Justin. Now, come on in. Make me laugh. Just remember, one wrong move and you're out of here. Capisce? Easy work, bro. Easy work. <laughs> bro, say you feel me. <laughs> Easy work. This ain't the family business. Ooh, let's see. Let's go see Karen. I don't remember where Karen lived, I'm going to be honest. I don't know where the fuck that bitch at. I think she's over here somewhere. Who lives here? Yeah, we got the mob bus. Oh, this is her. How dare you disturb my beauty sleep? Yo, what's up, Prims? Welcome to Sheen. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I demand to speak to your boss immediately or I'll have the, you report it to authorities. Karen, Karen, baby, don't act like that. Come on, it's me, Sony. I thought we were friends. Oh, Sony, darling, how can I forget your charm? Well, since you are a friend, I suppose I can spare a minute or two, but make it quick. I have important things to attend to. What well, I don't want to waste your time, Mama. Listen, Karen, I just wanted to come and brighten your night because you brighten mine every time I think of you. Oh, honey, that's very sweet of you to say. You know, I do have a soft spot for thoughtful gestures, but what bring you here exactly? Karen, are you married? Excuse me, that's none of your business. Fuck! I was dumb, Karen, please! We are. We had. We had something, Karen, please. It was going so well. What the fuck? I didn't want to. <laughs> oh my god. Almost back to Cougar. I fucking fumbled. Fuck. She's never going to let me in again. She's never going to let me in again. She's never gonna let me in again. Do you think she'll think it's still me? <laughs> Hello, well, well, well. If it isn't the late night golf enthusiast interrupting my beauty sleep, I'm sorry, but I don't recall booking a tea time at my front door. Karen, Karen, baby, please. I just wanted to come say hello and tell you how beautiful you are this evening. Oh, no, honey, you must be mistaken. The only thing beautiful here is my impeccable taste of shutting the door on one of solicitors. Karen! Go, Karen! Ah, go, stupid! Ah! John! Thank you so much, John! <laughs> <laughs> for five gifted subs thank you thank you so much john john if you got a gifted sub for mojo be sure to say thank you okay hold on watch this watch this be sure to say thank you welcome to the basement okay wait who lives here who's this Oh, it's this uh, bitch. Uh, uh, what uh, now? Can I do for you? Overwork. You just want a free, all expense paid vacation, Jessica. Are you excited? Wow, a vacation. Oh, how thrilling. I can't contain my excitement. What's the catch? Oh, Jessica, there is no catch at all. You've been such a great worker. You have won this trip. All expense paid. All I need to do is come in and have you sign some paperwork. 
Oh, wait, hold on a second. You want me to sign some paperwork? Can you just email it to me so I can read it over? And why do you need to come in? Oh, for sure. I could definitely email it to you. It's just easier and faster if you sign it right now because there's like a two week wait period. Oh, I don't have time for this. I can't just drop everything to sign some free paperwork for suspicious free vacation. Fuck. You don't see anything, sir. Limited time off for Jessica. She don't give a fuck. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my own blue ball. What do you got knocking on this ungodly hour? Melly, you just won an all expense paid a free trip vacation. Are you excited, Melly? Oh, gee, are you serious? That's like a dream come true. Can I bring my selfie stick? Insta the whole trip hashtag vacation goals. Absolutely, Millie. I bet you all your TikToks are going to go viral on this vacation. Amazing. You're so beautiful. I don't fucking know. She did some outfit. Aw, thanks. You're too kind. I mean, it's all about finding the right lighting and angles. Am I right? So tell me more about this fabulous vacation. Well, I actually have all the pamphlets and information here. If you would like to go inside and uh, I can show you everything that you need to see so you can get this vacation booked. Mm. Uh -uh. Hmm, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to invite someone to my pace. Can we maybe just chat a bit more outside? I promise it won't be as awkward as an unsafe snap treat. Oh my god. Wait, Millie, you're like totally an influencer, right? Because I've been wanting to start influencing too, actually. Oh my gosh, yes, influencing is so fun. What kind of like content are you thinking? Fashion, beauty, food, maybe even vlogging, our daily life. Let's bring some together. By the way, I must say you have a great taste of recognizing my influencer potential. Oh my god, Millie, have you ever considered possibly having a couple's YouTube channel? I have always wanted a couple's YouTube channel. Well, that's a big question. A couple's YouTube channel would be super fun, but it's a big commitment, you know? We have to make sure our chemistry is on point and content is engaging. Let's chat more about it, but I may need a bit to consider. Maybe we can collaborate on a video first? Oh my god, yes! Let's do a video! There's actually this TikTok trend that I've been wanting to do. You want to go inside and film it right now and we can see what the numbers pull? Oh, I'm totally down for that. Let's go inside and film that TikTok trend. I can't wait to see what kind of numbers we pull. Come on in, my fellow content creator. Well, new Ace Family! What's up, Ace Family? What's up, Ace Family? This is the ultimate ghosting! Alright, we got him. We got it. Oh! Easy. Easy. Why should we be exactly what you said, you know? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm kind of killing this. I'm kind of killing this. I'm not going to lie. Forgot all about that vodka. Let's go. I'm kind of killing it. Kinda. Woo! 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need my clothes. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get this guy. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm naked in the streets, bro. Well, 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 what's we'll got you all dressed up like a pink rodeo clown on my doorstep at the dead of night? Um, you see, Homer, my car just broke down on the side of the road here, and I really, really need to poop. Like, really need to poop. Okay. 
Oh dear, mm -hmm. I'm totally sorry about your car trouble, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Good luck with your uh, situation. <laughs> Why was there a cop right behind me? He said, call on star. <laughs> he said, this ain't my fucking problem. All right, this is the caring lady. Hello, oh, honey, what in tarnation are you doing knocking on my door so late in that flashy getup? Is everything all right? Hi, ma'am. I'm just going around the neighborhood conducting a survey on how everyone feels about the neighbor. I'm with the HOA and wanted to ask your opinions. Hi, oh, bless your heart. I appreciate you wanting to gather opinions, but I'm not sure if I'm comfortable sharing what that information. Can you please tell me what the survey's all about? Well, man, we're just looking to improve the neighborhood so it's a wonderful, happy place for everyone who lives in it. Come on. Well, isn't that dandy? I'm always up for making the neighborhood a better place. As long as it goes for a good community, count me in. What do you need help with? Well, ma'am, is there any changes you would like to see in the neighborhood anytime soon? <laughs> hmm, let me ponder that for a moment. Well, we could use some picnic tables at the park and perhaps some fresh flowers planted along the sidewalks. Oh, and better street lighting would be nice too. What do you think, partner? Oh, I think that's all splendid ideas. Here, let me write that down. Well, uh-oh, seems like my pen has run out of ink. Ain't that a shame? Oh, sugar. That's just terrible luck. But don't worry, I got a stash of pens right here. Let me grab one for you. Just wait there, honey. Well, actually, why you grab one? Do you mind if I just come on in and write it down? My clipboard, I seem to have forgotten it in my car. And I need a table to write on. Oh, oh sweetie, I understand you need a spot to write. But I'm afraid I can't let you in without knowing you better. Why don't you go outside and I bring that pen to you? Fuck. Well, Carol, aren't you just a caring soul to be able to lend your pen to me? I feel like we're becoming friends right this minute. Left our car at home soon, soon. Bro, they're I being so ridiculous. Well, aren't you the sweetest thing? I'm always here to help a friend on me. Right, right here, and I'll bring that pen out to you. Friends helping friends is what it's all about. Let me see. Carol, I like you. I really do. I don't meet a lot of people in this neighborhood that I connect with, you know? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to like, you know, let her, like, let me in. Oh, darling, that's music to my ears. I'm so glad I connected. It's not easy to find genuine connection these days. We're going to be good friends, you see? Now let me go grab that pen for you. I think we would be good friends. You know what? Since we're becoming such good friends, you mind if I come in so we can continue this conversation? I just love your energy so much. Please let me in. Please. Please let me in. <laughs> oh, honey, I would just love that. Your kind words have just warmed my heart. Hey, we got her. We fucking got her. Easy, bro. Easy. Easy. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. My minivan's still running. Oh, her clothes fell outside. Get this motherfucker. Why someone turn off her minivan, bro? Right? Carbon oh. monoxide. Oh, excuse me, but it's pretty late for a home cooked meal delivery, don't you think? Oh, Homer, I've just been thinking about you a lot lately, and I just wanted to come and check and see how you were doing. You've been really on my mind. I feel like they have a romance. Oh, that's awfully kind of you. I'm a bit worried about who's coming to my door these days, you know? Oh, I feel you, Homer. I don't want no stranger coming up to my door either. But we're neighbors, you see? And I think there might be something more between us. That's literally Dylan. You know what? It does look like Dylan on, though. Well, that might be a mighty friendly thing to say. I suppose there's no harm in getting to know our neighbors a bit better. What brings you around these parts anyway? Well, Homer, 
I'm in the market for love, you see. And I was hoping we can possibly get to know each other some more. Come on, Homer. Well, I'll be darned. Love, huh? I can't say I was expecting that, but you just seem like a decent fellow. Why don't you just come on? Damn, oh, you folded. Nah, you folded. You folded quick as fuck. I'm not ready for the big sleep. Nah, Homer folded, bruh. Homer folded. Homer's like, hey, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to, like, damn, Homer? Homer thirsty as fuck. He fell for the easiest trick in the book. Pussy. Pussy. He fell for the pussy. Oh. Pussy. Pussy. He fell for the pussy. Oh, my God. Oh. Damn, they're everywhere, bruh. He fell for the pussy. I want, I want to go to that house. I think that's Karen's house. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that Karen bitch. I'm gonna get Karen. I'm gonna get Karen. God damn it. Well, 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 what do we have here? A chef sneaking around at this ungodly hour. Please explain yourself. Oh my god, Karen. I have the juiciest gossip on the neighbors in town. Hello. Fuck! Karen! God damn it, Karen. Why don't you want gossip? Why don't you want gossip? Who the hell is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's cooking? Good lucking? I hope you're here to deliver me a pie because I could use a little sweetness in my life. Come on in, Baker Boy. Let's see what deliciousness you got for me tonight. Wait, already? I absolutely have a pie for you, Hazel Rosewell. If I could just come on in, I could serve it on a platter for you. Like what? Wow. Oh, you got a pie for me? Well, hop on in, my pastry Picasso. Let's see if you can bring the flavor explosion that matches your confidence. Oh, she an idiot. Oh, she a freak freak. <laughs> yeah, she dumb as fuck. She dumb as fuck. Guess I'm on the menu now. Yeah. Yeah, Hazel dumb as fuck, bro. Cause like, why? Why would you just like? Come on. Come on, she didn't even put up a fight. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Oh, my fragile little heart, Hazel. What a surprise to see you at my door. Please come on in and brace yourself for the delicate humor that I possess. Fred, I was just thinking about that joke you told me the other day, and I like forgot it, and I wanted you to tell it to me again. Can you please tell me, please? Wow. Oh, my friends just so can't handle such a request. It pains me deeply that you would forget one of my precious jokes. I'm afraid that I must... Bro. He's so... He does too much, bro. He does too fucking much, bro. Like, be fucking for real. Be fucking for real. Be fucking for real. Oh, this is that wood chopper... Girl. Hey, the neighbor would bring you knock at my door. It's so late, eh? Michelle Maple. Well, Michelle, I was just watching a documentary on Canada, and I wanted to see if you were from Canada because I love Canada. Have you gone? Well, I'll be your look, Fred, because I'm as Canadian as a moose munchkin on maple syrup covered pancakes. So what's got you loving Canada so much? Oh, Michelle Maple, the trees, the meese, just everything about Canada just seems so lovely. I really wish I can go one day. Hey, 
Come on, Bo. Well, ain't that something? Canada's got some mighty fighty sights to behold, that's for sure. If you're hankering for a trip, I'll be more than happy to give you some tips and tricks to make that happen. Oh my gosh, Michelle, would you really, would you really do that for me? <laughs> Mies? You know, isn't it called Mies? Uh -huh. You bet you, pal. I'll be more than happy to help you plan your grand adventure. Why don't you come on in and grab yourself a good old Timmy's coffee and we'll get started on making those streams a reality. Well, that was easy. That was easy. Yeah, you're dead. This isn't the kind of job that I do. I like her, her ponytail. Hold on. I just want the ponytail. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm an axe murderer now. I'm an axe murderer now. I'm an axe murderer now. Oh, who saw me? Who's this? Oh, it's this I fucking bitch. Hey there, Lumberjack. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? Jessica, in the patriarchy, I feel like us women need to stick together. And I would love to get to know you more. Oh, I appreciate the sentiment, but let's keep it professional, okay? We could totally get to know each other more as colleagues. Absolutely. There is definitely uh, boundaries that I would never cross your boundaries, Jessica. I am a great colleague for you. Absolutely. Patriarchy is crazy, you know? Jessica, please. Good to know, Lumberjack. So tell me, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Pun intended. <laughs> Well, Jessica, as colleagues, I've been having such trouble on this Excel sheet with all the shortcuts and stuff and was wondering if you could help show me how to properly work Excel. Duh. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you reached out. I'd be happy to show you some Excel shortcuts. Why don't you come on in? We could tackle that spreadsheet together. Got her. Got her. Easy. <laughs> She's done for. Bro, what? Yeah. Oh, oh. What happens if they run away? They don't go nowhere, honestly. They don't get far. They do not get far. Okay. <laughs> this neighborhood's ridiculous. Okay. Um, is there Excel sheets in that house? Well, these houses got nothing in them. Why is everyone here so desperate? You know, it's good for me, bad for them. Nope. Oh my god. Open the door. Uh oh. Well, dude, what's with the hatch? Are we chopping down bad vibes here or what? I just really felt inspired by that one line. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. You feel me? Whoa. Yeah, man, I get it. Life can be a total drag sometimes, but maybe there's more to it than just feeling the pain. Stay strong, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. I've resorted to actually like skateboarding to feel better and like numb out the world. You feel me? Oh, Dude, huh? that's rad. Skateboarding can be a sick escape. You just glide through the world, leaving all the BS behind. Keep shredding my email, friend. Hell yeah, Fallout Roy. Do you skateboard too? Close the goddamn door. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I'm more into expressing my inner turmoil through the poetic power of music. But I appreciate the gnarly art and rebellious spirit of skateboarding. Keep riding those concrete waves, dude. Oh my god, dude. You make music? That's totally rad. Can I hear some of it? I've been looking for a new artist. 
Hello. Thanks for the inches, man. I put my heart and soul into my music. Here's a link to one of my songs. Insert in a link. Warning, though. It's pretty dark and brooding. Maybe you can let me think if you're brave enough to handle the raw emotions it is. Oh my god, dude. I'm like so totally brave to handle the raw emotions. But like, I was wondering if like maybe we can listen to, to it together so uh, you can tell me what it means. Fuck. I was, huh? That's so totally awesome, dude. I do get your enthusiasm. Sure, come on in. Let's embrace the darkness together and just step the, the dark deeps of my darkness. Yep. Sure. <laughs> die! 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 There we go. I finally get to be my dark lord! Now, I'm an emo. What's up, emo dude? Ooh. Game was right from the start. I'm kind of killing it. I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally killing it, chat. I'm literally killing it. He <laughs> playing Ty White. He was running. That's a misery business ass haircut. <laughs> Cut my life into the Karen. Oh, Karen's gonna hate my bitch ass, but Karen is so ridiculous. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. Is it in my moody neighbor fallout, Roy? What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? How about a little cheering your life instead of spreading gloom and doom around here? That's just it, Karen. I'm happy now. I want to leave my emo ways behind. I was, was oh, really? Well, color me surprised. It's about time you ditched that emo nonsense. So what's got you all happy and chirpy now? Well, Karen... Honestly, it's you. I've been thinking about the people I look up into, look up to in my life, and Karen, you're one of them. You're a role model. Um, oh, oh, uh, mm -hmm. well, I guess I should be flattered. I must say that's a bit of a strange choice, dear. Have you considered seeking professional help? <laughs> I have, Karen, and my therapist told me that I should start to show appreciation to those around me. And Karen, you are around me. <laughs> nah. Oh, sweetie, that therapist of yours must be as delusional as it come. I mean, appreciating me? That's a stretch. Look, I think it's best you but find another role model with actual poise. <laughs> Karen, you son of a bitch. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, Karen fucking sucks. <laughs> she, 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 she's like, you should get some help. Like, what the fuck are you at my house? <laughs> All right, maybe this guy. What do you want? Fragile Fred, I just wanted to come and tell you how amazing you are. I don't think I've ever really told you how much I appreciate having you as a neighbor. Wow. Oh, really? That means a lot to me. It's nice to know that someone appreciates me. Thank you. Yeah, Fred, I feel like you just are such a diamond in this world. And, you know, I really wanted you to know it. Uh, well, Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you to say. It's not often I hear such nice things about myself. You're making me blush. What? You're telling me people don't compliment you enough? Fred, how can that be? You're just so amazing. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. I guess people just don't understand how special and unique I am. But it means a lot to hear it from you. Of course, Fred. After all, I consider us friends, you know? Uh -huh. Friends? Really? That's so wonderful. I'd be honored to have you as a friend. Maybe you could come in and we could talk more. Ah, oh, Fred. Ah, Fred. <laughs> ah! My safe word is garlic! <laughs> My safe word is garlic. What? 
I'm going back to Karen's house. I don't even know what houses we're missing. Poor if I just wanted friendship. Oh well. Well, 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 I must say I'm possibly surprised by this visit. What brings you to my cozy abode at this hour, darling? Well, I just came to see my favorite person, Karen. How are you doing today, darling? She likes me. Hold on, she likes me. Wow, oh, aren't you a charmer? But I'm afraid I'm not interested in chit chat at the moment. Maybe another time, sweetheart. What? Bro, she's literally the final. <gasps> she's literally the final boss. Literally. We haven't been to this house. One eye. Oh, gee, like, well, welcome to the Zuck layer of innovation and cake today. What amazing adventure doth you seek this late hour? Oh, Zuck, I knew you were just a guy you wanted to talk to. I wanted to really tap into my creativity tonight, and I felt like you were just the one to help. Oh, my gosh, you totally get me. Creativity is like my middle name. Tell me, what kind of fantastical creation do you want to bring to life tonight? Zuck, that's exactly why I needed your help. I am in a creator's block, you see? And I just can't quite figure out what I want to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't even worry. I, like, got you covered. Let's, like, brainstorm together and unlock the magical realm of creativity. Have you thought about any mythical creatures or enchanted realms that inspire you? Well, Zuck, you see, I do love fairies and ogres and unicorns and... Oh, just a plethora of things, Zuck, a plethora. Ah, oh my you. gosh, you have like the most amazing taste in magical creatures. I'm envisioning a fantastical world where fairies and ogres coexist in harmony and unicorns roam freely. Let's like create a breathtaking cosplay that brings this vision to life. What materials or elements do you think we should incorporate? Well, Zuck, do you have any like cool stuff at home that you think could be like really cool for this cosplay we're gonna make together <laughs> oh my gosh like totally i have like a treasure trove of tech gadgets and shiny objects that we can use to take this cosplay to the next level we have like led lights and holographic wings and even voice activated magic wand it's gonna be epic are you ready to dive in and start creating oh my gosh zuck that just sounds amazing i would love that yes let's create the cosplay together like right now so we can show the world tomorrow Yes, let's do this. Let's unleash our inner creativity and bring this cosplay to life. I have my team of tech wizards on standby to assist us. Just come over to the Zuck layer and we'll make it happen. Are you ready to embark on this fabulous journey? So more ready than ever, Zuck. More ready than ever. Oh, what who? So I like to hear. Get ready for the most mind-blowing coming cosplay. Coming on over. Can't wait to see you here. Fuck, what? All right, Zuck, you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. You're a fucking idiot. I thought I'd be bit by the tech bug, not this. Bro, that was lame as fuck. The tech bug, bro. The tech bug. Are you a fucking for real? The tech bug chat. He finna zuck you. I zucked him. Give him that zuck zuck 29. Oop. Oop. This guy's stuck. I yell. <laughs> well, hi, Excuse me, way past my bedtime. I hear everything you knock on my door at this ungodly hour.
Tell her someone's in her parking spot. She's gonna shut the door on me, bro. I don't have to say to this woman. Become a care. I, bro, I tried the gossip. I, I want to show you my sweet gift. Okay. Karen, I'm your long lost son. I've been looking all over for you. Uh, my long lost son? Ha! I highly doubt. Long lost son did not work. I repeat, long lost son did not work. Oh my gosh. Okay, what houses are we missing? Tell her you have a gift for her. Bro, she's gonna shut that door in my face. Oh. Looks like a murderer. Who lives here? Oh, this bitch! Dude, what the actual hell? Why are you just like a cycle and knocking my door in the middle of the night? Can you not? It's not cool, man. Not cool at all. I'm wearing this mask because I'm going through an existential crisis right now and I feel like I don't know what my identity is. Yeah, um, okay, existential crisis and not wearing a hockey mask is not the way to try to find yourself, dude. Maybe try, like, talking to a therapist or something. They may might help you figure things out better than just scaring people in the neighborhood. I'm just saying... I'm so sorry, Raven. I never meant to scare you. I just heard around that you're such an intellect, and I was hoping you might shine a light on my predicament. I wish, huh? Wow, flattery would get you nowhere, man. But hey, I can't resist an intellectual challenge. So, Spill, what's been bugging you? Just promise me no more mask appearances, all right? Of course, I will never scare you again, Raven. But what's been bugging me in all my mind is I just don't know who I am, Raven. And I'm in this conundrum. Are you coming out these lines on the go? I am. <laughs> Look, I get her. Figuring out who you are is tough, especially when you're going through a conundrum. But here, here's the deal, man. Take some time to explore yourself. Explore interests, try new things, and eventually you'll discover who you truly are. It's just not an overnight process, but you'll get there. Just keep searching, all right? Raven, wow, such wise words. I really appreciate that. Before I came here, I was so lost, and you really helped. Hi, Kenzo. Hello. Hey, thanks for saying that. It means a lot to hear. I can help out. Look, if you want, we can keep talking inside where there's not creep so creepy and all. Maybe we can continue this. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess <laughs> I guess we're going inside. You, you dumb bitch. I gotcha. I gotcha. Of course you'll bully me like this. Bully. Bully, finally. Oh! Oh. I need to go to this house. Oh. <gasps> Me alone. Me alone. Oh, this is, who is this? Oh, it's the boomer guy. What the blazes do you think you're doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Can't you see I'm trying to get some shut eye? Charles, I appreciate you opening the door at this hour. You see, I've been really wanting to get into stocks, and I thought you were just the right guy to talk to. Is this stocks? <laughs> stocks, eh? Don't look some kind of financial crew to talk to. Fuck. I thought he would care because um, he's old. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Um, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What other houses are we missing? We're missing like seven, like eight houses. 
Oh! W drip, thank you. Timeshare? Selma timeshare? Maybe a vacation? Why the fuck is he in the woods? Why is he in the woods? Whose house is this? This house is lit up. Leave me alone. Who's out? Oh, who the fuck is this? Uh -huh. Whoa, dude. Oh, he's a stock guy. You totally know how to make an interest. What's poppin'? Bitcoin's on the rise, yeah? Dude, that's why I came over. I've been totally wanting to invest into Bitcoin. And I feel like you're just a dude to tell me more about it. Oh, yeah. That's so awesome, bro. Bitcoin is a king of cryptocurrency and it's been making its serious gains lately. It's all about decentralized digital currency. Are you ready to join, ride the Bitcoin wave? Totally, dude. I feel like Bitcoin is just the way of the future. You feel me? Absolutely, bro. Bitcoin is all about disrupting the financial, the traditional financial system and giving power back to people like freedom money, man. The future is bright for Bitcoin. I'm stoked that you're on board. Let's dive into this crypto journey together, together, dude. Oh my God. Thank you so much, dude. Do you think you can help me set up my crypto wallet? I just like can't figure it out by myself at, ha at home. Absolutely, Mike. Do I'd be thrilled to help you set up your crypto wallet. Come in, and we can set on the path uh, to Bitcoin success to the moon, bro. Yeah, he's done. He's fucking done. Gotcha, gotcha, bitch. Guess it's a bear market. Idiot. Idiot. You don't see me. Oh my god. They're everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. The cops are on my ass. Okay, that house is still lit up. Let's go to the... Oh, that's the old man. Alright, we gotta get this old man. This boomer. What do boomers care about? News... Let's do newspapers. I'm gonna bring up a newspaper. Hey. What in the silver hair? How are you doing this ungodly hour, Brian Bitcoin? Charles, Charles, it's a travesty. They're trying to stop our neighborhood newspaper. What happened to enjoying print? I don't know what else to say. Are you kidding me? I've had enough of these. Yes! Of these new fangled gadgets and all this internet nonsense. I don't want to be any part of your digital. Wait, what? I, I was on your side, asshole. I was literally on your side. I... Like, I was trying, I was changing. I changed. Can't escape this way, there's cops. God damn it, bro. All I have, all I know, where, like, where's everyone else at? Like, see Karen, old man. Are we missing? Like, what, who are we missing? This old man. Offer the guy prune juice since he's so stuck up, right? Who, who the f who? I'm trying to. I'm lost. I'm trying to find other houses because we're clearly missing some. Mm, that isn't Karen or the old man. Oh, a sombrero. <laughs> Yeah, we'll wear this. Sniper? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, we found it. We found it found it now this is a hitman game what can i say what is going on oh ah greetings brave adventurer pray tell what wind caresses your sails on this fine eve 
I've been looking for some new friends to join my Dungeons and Dragons group. Are you willing to join? I don't fucking know. A fellow lover of Dungeons and Dragons, my heart leaps at the thought of embarking on a grand new adventure with a new group. I would be honored to join your esteemed party. Pray, tell me more about your campaign. Well, it's such a riveting adventure with dragons and quests and witches and werewolves. You would love this campaign. I'm the DM, you see. I don't, I don't fucking know, chat. Hello? Is it working? My interest is certainly piqued. Your campaign sounds like a thrilling tale with magic and danger. As a fellow DM, I appreciate the art of storytelling. I would be delighted uh, to be a player in your world, immersive world. When should we have the gather for the first session? Oh, well, Greg, that's the problem. My house is under construction, so we can't do it at mine. Do you think you have enough space at yours for us to play here? Jesus Christ. DM is a good step, right? <laughs> yeah. Fear not, dear venture, for my humble abode hath the ample space for gathering brace spells. My gaming table stands ready with this the birth of epic tales. Pray, when shall we convene at dwelling my embark on this grand adventure? Well, why wait, Greg? Let's go ahead and embark on this grand adventure today. Let me come inside and I'll call the rest of the players to come play with us tonight. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. Excellent. The time is right for us to begin our adventure. Pray enter my abode, noble tra adventure, and let's summon the rest of our party to witness the birth of legends. Yeah, he's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking nerd. This is critical fail. <laughs> Got him. Oh, it's the weed guy. I'm gonna wear his fit. Who lives here? Who lives here? <laughs> You're glad to see you. Oh, thank you. I tried. <laughs> well, well, well. What a delightful surprise. What brings a deplorable soul like yours to an impeccable doorstep at this ungodly hour? Well, Preston, I've just been thinking to myself, and I've realized what a wonderful man you are, and I just wanted to tell you. Just wanted to tell you. <laughs> oh, your recognition of my greatness is certainly commendable. Though I must say, it's rather common sentiment among the masses. Nonetheless, I graciously appreciate your accept your praise. Preston. I know this is a lot to ask, but how may I possibly be as good as you? How could I possibly be? <laughs> oh, how noble of you to aspire to greatness. Unfortunately, true greatness cannot be obtained by mere mortals such as yourself. It requires an innate sophistication, impeccable taste, and an unwavering commitment to perfection. But feel free to bask in my excellence from afar. Thank you so much for even considering me to be worthy to bask in your excellence from afar. For I much, much appreciate it. I don't know, I feel like I just gotta suck his dick at this point. <laughs> You're most welcome, my dear misguided artist. It is rare privilege for one as magnificent as I to bestow an ounce of acknowledgement upon the masses. Cherish this moment, for it shall be forever attached in your memories. Preston, this means the world to me, for as you see, I'm dying. And it was my last wish to be among such greatness as yours. Oh, my dear misguided artist, your words have touched the depths of my soul. How can I deny someone of their final moments a chance to witness my greatness up close? Come in, let me... Okay, well, it worked. It worked. It worked. I was dying and uh, he felt bad for me. Get up! How dreadfully common! Yeah, I fucked him up. I fucked him up. Who 
Who else do I got, man? What? We still haven't got this bitch? Serious? Oh, it's a, this fucking dude. Well, well, well. If it isn't pressed and pomp, it's grace in my doorway. Did so. You finally realize my immense value and come to bask in the glory of my presence because if I'm, if not, I'm not interested in hearing whatever you drivel have to say. Cheerio. Tommy Twizzle. Okay, here we go. Tommy Twizzler, my God, of course, dude. You are such an amazing man. And I, I just came to tell you that because you deserve to hear it. A what? Tommy Twizzler, my friend. Yes, you are such an amazing guy. And I, I just had to come and tell you that tonight. So you knew how amazing you were. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really now? You finally recognize the brilliance that is moi? Well, it's about time. I must say it's quite refreshing to have someone shower me with compliments. Keep them coming, darling. Well, Tommy, I just got to take a page out of your book because that outfit is just stupendous. Like, where'd you get that sweater from? I am so jealous of how cool you look. Huh. Well, 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 well. Looks like you've got some taste after all. This little number, oh, it's a one-of-a-kind piece. I especially tailored just for me, but I suppose I could invite you in to take a closer look. Oh, yeah, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Dumbass. What? What the fuck? Oh, well, he's dead. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Again. 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 Okay. It's this. Oh, it's this motherfucker. Living all press and pumps. What incarnation are you doing at mocking at my door at this ungodly hour? Get on with it, would ya? Rusty. I just wanted to apologize for how I may have treated you in the past. I'm trying to make amends today. <laughs> well, I reckon that might be good. You gotta apologize. I appreciate the gesture, but actions speak louder than fancy words. What kind of amends are we talking about here? Well, Rusty, I think I'm much greater than everybody else, and that isn't true. I think that I'm here. I know I'm here to apologize for that. Yeah. I was, huh? Well, I gotta admit, it takes big man to admit that he's been acting high and mighty. If you're really serious about making amends, then I reckon I can give this another shot. Don't you go disappointing me now, you hear? Oh, Rusty, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you so much for giving me a second chance. Hey, how about we drink a beer? Just so we can start anew. Yeah. I'm a well, I'll be darned. You really are trying to turn over a new leaf. All right, you fancy pants. Come on in. Yeah, let's crack, out, crack open a cold one. Shit. All right, yeah, the cop. Yeah, listen, he don't know. He don't know. <laughs> let's get his ass. You did Get on my loner neck! Yeah, he's done. He's done. You should do voice acting. I'm kind of good at it, huh? I'm kind of killing it, huh? Okay, there is someone up here. Oh, it's fucking Karen. No, it's not Karen. Who's here? Who the fuck is this? Mr. East. Oh, yeah. Well, hello there, my fine friend. What a delightful surprise it is to see you at my doorstep. How can I assist you this fine evening? Uh, let's see. What can we say? <clears throat> Mr. East, I'm going around and inviting people I find to be the coolest to my party tomorrow. <laughs> oh wow that sounds like an absolute buzz i'll be honored to attend your party count me in what time should i be there well i was thinking around three around three everyone should arrive it's gonna be like super fun um you should wear all white it's an all white party <laughs> wow all white party at three sounds absolutely fans of this i'll make sure to dress to impress and bring my dancers suits thank you so much for inviting me i can't wait to have a blast at your party 
Oh, do you like to dance, Mr. East? Because I love to dance, too. <laughs> love to dance, too. Right, Absolutely. I love to dance. It's one of my favorite ways to let loose and have a great time. We definitely have to hit the dance floor together at your party. Absolutely. It's been such a long time since I danced, actually. And I feel like I need to practice. Wait, would you be willing to practice with me? Did I tell this all white party? You know, no, wait, well, practicing Jesse doesn't sound like a great idea, but I'm afraid you're, I'm quite busy at the moment with my YouTube channel. However, I'm sure you'll find someone who would love to practice with you if you have time. Oh my gosh, you have a YouTube channel. That's so cool. What the fuck? Uh, Thank you so much. I'm glad you think it's cool. I've been hard at work, but I enjoy creating content with my, and connecting with my subscribers. If you like, you can check out my channel sometime. Oh, oh my gosh. I haven't put the pieces together until now. You're the Mr. East. I've been watching your channel since forever. Whoa. No way. That's incredible. I can't believe you've been watching my channel for so long. That means the world to me. Thank you for the support. Hey, why don't you come inside? And we can grab a snack. Idiot! I've never seen your stupid YouTube channel! This isn't very charitable! I'm killing it, ass this guy. Killing it! Killing it! Ooh. Ooh. How do you fall for that? I know, right? Idiot. I'm a fucking loser. Bro, this old man is a pain in my neck. Let's see. Come on, bro. This old man, dude. This old man and that lady is so hard. What on earth is so important to disrupt my evening? Explain yourself, pumps. Charles, I'm in a bit of a conundrum, and I was hoping to get your wise advice. And fuck! Talk about World War II. Bro, he's so hard. He doesn't want to hear shit from me. I thought calling him wise would let him talk to me. These are the last two houses. Well, well, well. What brings you here, Preston? I hope you have a good reason on knocking my door at this ungodly hour. Tell him the old man wanted. What's his name? Charles? Well, I'm here, Karen, because Charles down the street told me a secret, and I just had to tell you. He's in love with you. Oh, oh, please spare me the neighborhood got. <sighs> oh, shit. <sighs> These are the last two fucking houses, dude. Oh, my God. Let me alone. Let's see. What do we have here? What do we have here? It's the last two. Oh my gosh. Who? Damn, all these fucking cops, bud. Oh my god. Let's see. Hello. Well, hello there. It's quite late for unexpected visitors, but spare a moment for someone. Okay, quite as well dressed as you. What can I assist you tonight? Oh, thank you so much, Karen. My outfit does not look as well as yours does tonight. I love those sunglasses. Hold on, we might be going somewhere. Oh, thank you, dear. These sunglasses are a must have for a woman of my caliber. What brings you here tonight? <laughs> 
Well, Carol, that's just the thing. You're such a high quality woman that I was hoping that maybe you could mentor me to be just as amazing as you are. Oh, yeah. oh how delightful. It's not very uh, every day. This all recognizes my explanation, exceptional qualities. I would be honored to be your mentor and guide you on the path to greatness. But first, tell me what specific areas do you need my expertise in? Well, Karen, the way you carry yourself is so amazing and ladylike, and your fashion senses are impeccable. I don't fucking know. Oh, thank you for noticing my refined demeanor as a result of years of cultivating elegance and sophistication. And as for fashion, it's all about finding the perfect balance, staying up to date with the latest trends. Now let's discuss how shall we elevate your own... How can you... Let's discuss how you can elevate your own style, shall we? Oh, yes, please, Karen. I was wondering if maybe you have any pieces in your closet yourself that inspire you that could possibly inspire me to reaching the elegance you have. <laughs> well, aren't you in luck? I happen to have a fabulous collection of timeless pieces in my closet that never failed to inspire me. Let's see how I can visit my wardrobe so you, I can show you some of my... Favorite items. Oh, yes, please. I would love to see your wonderful fashion collection, please. Okay, we did it. Thank God. <laughs> wonderful. I'm thrilled to share my fashion collection with someone eager to learn as you are. Follow me, my dear. Prepare to be dazzled by the finest garments you've ever laid your eyes in. On. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. So that means I could come in? Of course, my dear. I wouldn't dream of having you wait outside. Come on in and let's embark on this stylish journey together. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. I want to speak to your manager. And I'm wearing her fit. Last one, chat. Old man. You said he's a businessman? The final countdown. What in tarnation do you want at this hour, kid? Can't you see I'm trying to watch the evening news? Say your piece and be on the way. Well, that's just the thing, Charles. My TV had done went out and I'm missing the news. Could you tell me what's going on right now? Ugh, yeah. oh, fine. Seems like you can't do anything on your TV, can you? Well, there's some weather patterns throwing around, political clowns talking nonsense, and a bunch of celebrity shenanigans. Now, can you please leave me alone? Oh, my goodness. Those political clowns always doing the same thing over and over again, aren't they, Charles? Such a nuisance. Uh -huh. You got that right, Karen. Seems like they've never tired of their own circus act. Can't say I'm surprised, though. They've been at it for years. So interesting to see where this country goes all the time. Man, so sad that I'm missing the news tonight. Thank you so much for telling me a recap, though. Well, I guess just someone appreciates my efforts. Remember, just next time, try to invest in a backup plan for your TV needs. Now, if you don't mind, I prefer to be left in peace. Oh, Charles, you're so smart. I would definitely think about investing in TVs, but I was also wondering, you're a businessman, aren't you? Do you mind giving me some business advice while you're here? Wow. This is advice. Well, I suppose I have my fair share of experience. Just remember, it's all about keeping your costs low and staying ahead of the competition. And never, I repeat, never trust a smooth talker in a fancy suit. Got it? Now I've got things to do. I suggest you go on your way. Oh, Charles, you've been so kind and patient to be talking to me right now. Do you mind if I could just come in and ask you a few more questions? It's quite cold out here. I'm going to lose. Wow. Look, Karen, I appreciate the flattery, but it doesn't mean I'm in the mood for all of my guests. I still got trust issues with you. Fuck. Do 
Did the news say anything about the weather this week, Charles? This is opportunity, girl. I Good. know, but I want to do something. Yeah, they mentioned something about weather part and swirling around. Seems like we might be in some rain and gusty winds. And now, if you excuse me, I have enough chit chat for one day, bro. Oh, it always gets so ugly when it rains here, doesn't it, Charles? You ever been through a really bad storm? <laughs> yeah, I've been through my fair share of bad storms. Wind howling, trees swaying, power outages. It's not a pleasant experience, I can tell you that much. But hey, you know, they say it's all a part of living in this unpredictable world. Quite unpredictable indeed. I sure wish I had someone to hold my hand. Uh, let me cook, y'all. Let me cook. Oh, my well, I suppose oh, I can understand that. Storms can be scary. Fine, fine. You can come in. But, ah! Yes! <laughs> uh, it was fine, Carlos. You didn't need to delete that. I should have offered him a happy ending. I should have stayed in the 60s. Oh, he was racist. I did it! <laughs> I did it! I did it! Well. Nice. <laughs> what a, look at me, man. W Deceiver. What can I say?